Access to a food pantry or free wellness resources can be a struggle for families in rural communities like Sonoida, but one organization is stepping up to help. 13 News reporter Ashley Bowerman shows us how. We have gotten a lot of food so far donated from the community. This is Sonoida's new community food pantry. It's the first of its kind for the rural area, and the nonprofit Helping Hands of Sonoida raised funds to bring it to the community. They say the need out here is growing. We've had people here from Nogales drive up to get food, so it's not just our location, but there's all the locations around. Dina Plotz is the president of Helping Hands and the owner of Corner Scoop, which is why the pantry is located just next door. Seven days a week, people can pick up the food and clothing items they need or can drop off donations. The organization has been helping an average of over 200 families a month. I don't want anybody to feel ashamed to come down here. This food pantry is open for anybody who needs it. But food insecurity is not the only hurdle the nonprofit is trying to overcome. People are suffering. There's not enough people in the medical health community, in the mental health community, to adequately serve. So that's where we come in. We want to fill those gaps of service. The Frank Adams Wellness Center opens this weekend. It provides fitness classes, food boxes, educational classes, and social events at no charge. Monday through Friday, really, what are you going to do out here? Uh, there's no gym. There's no community activities. Um, and the few that there are are very sporadic. So what we aim to do is have community activities free of charge monthly to make sure that people are getting out of the house, they're being socially well, and it's not a financial drain on them either. The center is named after Frank Adams, an Arizona veteran who took his own life after multiple tours of combat in Iraq. When Frank's wellness suffered, insufficient resources were available to help him pull through. This center is trying to change that. And this uh, center is in memory of him to make sure that nobody else has to suffer that, go through that alone. And that wellness center opens on Veterans Day at 11 a.m. at the Coop off Highway 82 in Sonoida. And the food bank is open every day from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Reporting in studio, Ashley Bowerman, 13 News.